Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over some properties of the string object, or string objects. Um, basically I've got a form set up here, it's uh, nothing too fancy with a small form. Let me show you the uh, HTML for it. So let me scroll on down here. So the body of my page has a headline one, I've got a form. Oops, I'm going to go ahead and take this on submit out for now, because I'm going to be putting that back in in a moment. So I've got a basic generic form, it's got a uh, text box for an email address, it's got a text box for date of birth, which I really don't plan on using in this particular video, and I've got a submit button. I'm using a placeholder attribute, which is a newer HTML5 attribute, and for those of you that are already getting into HTML5, you will uh, make a note there is actually a type equals email, so that's now a valid type for form fields, and it has some built-in validation, but because I want to focus on strings, I'm not going to use it here, because I want to do my own validation. So I'll put type equals text back in. And I already do have some style sheets for some formatting available. So let's go ahead and get to work on the, uh, on the script part of things. So I'm going to start up here. I've got my opening and closing script tags. I'm just doing this right in the head section. I'm going to go ahead and make a little note. Uh, I'm going to get some stats about the entered email address. Okay. So there's a certainly a place on the form where a user can enter in their email address. And I want to find out some information about it, like how long is this email address, where is an at symbol, where is the, um, the period, the last period, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by creating variable feedback equals, I'm going to do an empty set of quotes or blank. So I'm setting up this variable so that I can display this information at a later date. Um, currently it's going to be set to empty, but I'm going to be appending information to this feedback variable. I do have, after my form, a paragraph already created with id equals feedback, so my information is going to display in this paragraph. So I'm creating this variable called feedback, and it's equal to nothing. I'm also going to create a variable called email. Now this particular variable is going to be the value of whatever is entered into that email box. So I'm going to go ahead and write document get element by ID email dot value. So I want to get the value of an element with ID equals email on my document and on my form I actually have a type text box here and notice it is ID equals email so I want to get the value from that text box. In addition to getting the value I also want to create a variable called elength which is simply going to be email dot length. Now email is a variable that I just declared in the line above. So email is the value of what was entered in that email box. Now I want to get the length of that value and that's going to be my e length variable. So I've got some basic information here. Go and press my enter key a couple times. And I'm going to set up an area where I can display my information. And let's see, I'll go ahead and take my feedback variable. Remember my feedback variable was declared a little bit earlier and it was set to nothing. So now I'm going to take that feedback variable and I'm going to append plus equal. I'm going to add to it. And I'm going to add string length is equal to. Notice these are in quotation marks. Okay, So I, I'm going to display this typed text plus my e length variable. This should this variable of course represents the length of the value of whatever someone types in that text box. E length. And then I'll do another plus and I'm going to do a break tag here too because ultimately there's going to be a couple other things on this feedback. So I've got that part taken care of and I'm going to press my enter key another enter key another couple of times and I'm going to go ahead and put in document get element by ID feedback dot enter HTML equals feedback. Okay, so what does this really mean? This means I have an element on my page already with the ID equals feedback and I sure do. I've got this paragraph down here with ID equals feedback. So basically 
feedback, the JavaScript variable, is now going to contain a message. It's going to contain the sentence, string length equals whatever the length of the string is. That's in a feedback variable. That variable, right down here, is going to be inserted in the HTML, or in between the opening and closing tags, of my feedback element. So I've got that part taken care of. One more thing I'm going to do on here. Because this is a form, and I'm going to trigger this function on submit, I need to do return false. There we go. So these are my JavaScript statements. Now I want to contain all of these within a function. Okay, So I'm going to go up to the very top of my script tag, and normally I would do this at the beginning. But I'm going to create a function, and it's going to be called check email. So this is the start of my function right up here. And then I'm going to finish my function at the very last line. There we go. And this is end of function. There we go. So all of these actions are going to take place whenever this function is called. And my function is called check email. So I'm going to scroll on down to my form tag. And I'm going to put in on submit equals, oops, actually I'm going to do a return here, return check email. There we go. So when the form is submitted, I'm going to return with my check email function. My check email function is going to create a variable called feedback that's equal to nothing. It's going to create a variable called email, which is equal to the value of whatever someone types in the email box. It's going to create a, var a variable called elength, which is going to be the length of the value of the email they typed in the email box. It's going to append or update my feedback variable to include the sentence string length is equal to the variable e length plus a break tag. And then that information is going, to, is going to be displayed in the inner HTML of a paragraph that I've got with ID feedback. And last but not least, return false is going to keep the form from getting processed. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, jump back over to my browser Chrome, refresh and let me just click submit information and the first thing it pops up with over here is string length is equal to zero because I didn't type anything if I just type in some random text and hit submit information string length is 11 let me just type in a couple characters there we go three characters submit string length equals three and if I type in a more common email address there we go submit information string length is 21 so what we're doing is we're getting the value from this text box and we're learning a couple things about it like how long is this particular string it's 21 characters